Hi kids, I'm so glad to be here with you today. I'm here with my favorite pet, Rita the Rhino. And actually I'm really sad because I'm going away and I'm not gonna be able to take her with me. And I'm looking for somebody that can care for my pet. Hey Boyle, how are you? Good. You know what, I have a question to ask you. Um, I, I'm going away and I'm not gonna be able to take my favorite pet. I've had her since she was a baby. She just, she means so much to me and I love her so much. And I'm just wondering, will you take care of her? You will? Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, okay. So I know you've never had a rhino before, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I do to take care of her, okay? Okay, awesome. So the first thing that I do, and this is kind of funny, but she loves getting dressed up. Every day she says, can we play dress up? And I say, sure, we can play dress up. So I always get her dressed up. So the first thing I do is she loves like all the necklaces and hats and things like that. She, this is her favorite thing. Also, she really, really loves to have her nails painted. So can I just show you how I paint her nails? Yeah, so like this, she really likes everything sparkly. And one of her other favorite things is lipstick. She just loves lots of lipstick. So just even like bigger the better in some ways. So the last thing I do, and this is something I do for her every night. Before she goes to bed, I pick her up like this and I hold her in my arms. And <laughs> I sing, rock a bye Vita. <laughs> And, <laughs> and by that time she's already asleep so you don't even have to sing anymore so do you think you can do those things to help me take care of her i know that you don't really have experience with that but i really trust who you are and i know that you're gonna you're gonna take good care of her thank you that means so much to me and and <laughs> just like i love rita uh, is the same way that jesus loves us he's always there to meet our needs and he cares about each one of us in the, on our Bible story, um, in the Gospel of John, 21, 15 through 17, Jesus asked Peter three times. He tells him, if you love me, feed my sheep. And what this means for us is that if we love Jesus, we love others and we care for others. And uh, love is the driving force in our lives that brings us to compassion and to grace. So I leave you with that, and I bless you to have a wonderful week. Goodbye.